Hey everybody, welcome back to Women, Women Carry, Carry Knives. Knives. On the table in front of us, now I just have to let you guys know that I just redid this video because on the last one I said welcome to Kershaw Knives. I'm not Kershaw Knives. Are you sure? I am Women Carry Knives. If you're Kershaw Knives, can we have more knives? Free knives for everybody. Careful now. Wouldn't that be awesome? That is awesome. I would love to do that. If I ever hit the lottery, I'm just going to buy a crap load of knives and I'm going to give them out to everybody because that would just be awesome. All right, you guys. As I said, we are taking a look at the Kershaw Turismo. Now, this is one of their new Speed Safe assisted knives. I'm not always a really big fan of assisted knives, but once in a while, one comes along that um, I really enjoy, and this happens to be one of them. Um, it's a small little bugger. Well, maybe we'll call it a medium. Not even, no. Okay, let's just get into it because <clears throat> it's not really small, it's not really medium, and I don't think I'd really consider it as medium. So, you are looking at a D2 um, draw point blade. Um, you have stainless steel handles. So, nothing fancy on the handle. Not a huge fancy blade. As I said, it is just D2, which is fine. Um, you have a stainless steel pocket clip that is a true deep carry. Really is. And I, I'm going to go right into it and say it is not a hot point. I have been having issues with... Um, pocket clips lately and so every time I've gotten a knife that you know is is comfortable and you don't notice the pocket clip that's just a huge plus for me now you have on this one it is a tiny little flipper tab can you all see that it just barely pokes out however because of the bit of jimping that they have on this it is so comfortable, and being that it's assisted, it really does not take much to flip it out, so you do not really need a huge flipper tab on this. Um, it is a right-hand, left-hand tip-up carry, so for my lefty love out there, I got you covered, you guys. There's my lefty love. Um, it does have... It's just... I, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm really loving this. The kick on this thing is just amazing for such a tiny little knife. And it not tiny, okay. I know I keep saying that, but it is small. I've we, been carrying my knives, so everything is small. Well, true. However, I did carry this one today. That's true. So, and I've actually been having a lot of fun with it. So, um, so the bench made, the bug out, I do consider, I've always said, I consider that more of a medium. So it's a small medium. Um, I hate to put the Turismo in a small category because it doesn't feel small, if that makes sense to you guys. It just doesn't feel like a small knife. If we want to take a look at it next to the Presidio, then absolutely it looks like a small knife. Um, I keep saying that it reminds me of the Pilar, which I don't have out here. I'm not actually sure where that one is right now. But... Um, the Polar 3, by the way. Um, it is roughly about the same size, but due to the assisted nature of this and the, the weight of it and the handle, there's, uh, I just have to stick it in a medium category. I just do. Measurement-wise, nope, it is not a medium knife. Well, maybe not. Okay, so if we're looking at the blade, the blade is about... Two and three quarters inches. So here I go. See, I'm going to make it a small knife here. <clears throat> two and three quarters, just, just over two and three quarters of an inch with a, you know, two and... Okay, we're going to call it a three inch blade with a two, just over two and three quarter inch cutting edge. Now your handle itself is going to be just over uh three and three quarters inches i mean just shy of four inches total length which is going to make your total length six inches and three quarters so six and three quarters of an inch so okay measurement wise it is small feel in hand the fact that it's assisted um to me makes it feel more of a medium-sized knife it's wonderful the um drop point the the, the belly on this and the way that it is, um, this little knife just feels like you can really use it for some hard use. 
Okay, now again, I don't use my knives for real hard use because I don't have anything I have to hard use it on. But should it come down to that, you know, and I would love to take this one camping and use it for whittling and see how it does, chopping up some wood. Okay, they might be little branches, but um, just see how it's going to perform. Um, I like how they did the backspacer and you've got a little uh, honeycomb almost kind of look to it. Let's see if we can get that there. So kind of a little bit of a honeycomb look to it. I believe the backspacer was stainless steel also. That I did not check. And weight-wise, and we'll go ahead and throw the scale up there so we can see what the grams are too. Do, 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 do. All right. So in ounces, we are looking at 3.3 ounces. All right. Four grams for those of you that go by, those of you those of you that go by grams, it is a 94 grams. So for the size, it is, I would say, a little bit heavier of a knife. Um, mostly because it is not titanium, it is stainless steel. This is something you're going to feel in your pocket. Heck, I would use this to even just throw at somebody, even if it was closed, because it's going to do damage. <laughs> Let's try it out. Hey, therapeutic catch, run! Ow. Just kidding. Oh, don't say ow. That gets the dog going. She's looking. Um, the stainless steel, I thought in my mind was going to be a bit slipperier than it is because it is so smooth, but for some reason, and it doesn't, it's not orange peel. It's not, you know, it has nothing fancy about it, but I think because of the jimping just on the back of the knife here. I think that to me is really enough to really make it stick there in your hand. Um, not one that you're going to choke. Up. I, I, because of the size of this, I would not hold it back much further. I would definitely be on the jimping of the blade of this one <clears throat> because it is smaller. But, you know, so far, so this is, like I said, it's one of Kershaw's new assisted. Um, they have definitely upped their game. Uh, you will be seeing another review of another assistant that they just came out with that I'm finding I'm really enjoying that one too. So, <clears throat> like I said, Kershaw is definitely upping their game on their knives. Um, I'm excited to see what else they may come out with this year. I mean, 20, I think 2021 is just going to be a really good year for knives. Um, not so much for your wallets, but yes, for the knives. All right, you guys, this has been a look at the Kershaw Turismo. It runs $43.95, so um, definitely an affordable knife. If you like a smaller size knife, I would highly suggest this one. If you like an assisted knife, yes, I would highly suggest this one. Um, this has been a fun knife to have, fun knife to own. I can't wait to do more with it and see what it's going to do. Um, like I said, my lefties, it's definitely friendly for you guys, and that is also a plus. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. It does help the channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here full time. And as always, feel free to leave me a comment down in the comment section. You know I love talking to you. Thanks for joining me. Until next time.